What's up, guys? It's Launch Mode. We're here at the New York Auto Show. Gonna show you around. Lots of cool things to look at. Let's dive in. JDM lineup right here. Would you rather have the R33 Skyline, the Supra, or the NSX, or all of the above? Can't go wrong. Also, this Alpha. Check that out. This Alpha is just so sick. Check out the clearance right there. <laughs> Bagged. Oh uh, yes, the quirky and bizarre Toyota Sierra. Love the doors. Best part about this vehicle, though. Check out that exhaust pipe. That thing is a freaking monster. Every inch matters. What do you mean by that? Right next to this badass Pulsar Nismo is this Citroen BX4 TC. Check out those wheels. This is a four door only 40 known in existence so quite rare check out that interior Austrian startup, I believe it's pronounced DS, is set to unveil their fully electric hypercar here at the New York Auto Show. I believe it's pronounced the Vian or Vian. In great condition, here we have Elvis Presley's 1956 Lincoln Continental Mark II. You saw the De Tomaso that he shot up and the Peterson that we showed. I don't believe he shot this one up. But nonetheless, fantastic condition and looks awesome. <laughs> What do we have here at the New York Auto Show? The like every celebrity section. Check that out. This black 250 GT Lusso is so clean. It's about a $3 million car right there. A familiar face from the Chicago Auto Show, that would be Taco Zilla. And right next to that is VinFast. And in the words of Connor, what the hell is VinFast? What the hell is even that? Right, Connor? That's right. Yes, the conference room on wheels. This is the Toyota Rhombus. Has a single swivel seat. And then back there in the back, there's like a little smattering of seats to the back. I saw a lot of these Supras in the back behind me at the Chicago Auto Show, but one of my favorites right there is the Toyota Supra with the Targa top. Check that out. That is awesome and love these HRE wheels. Not to be confused with a Cobra, that's the C300 Cobra, and it is fully electric. With a snake skin right there. To the worst spec for GT. Obviously very important though, it is the heritage version. But I also think when we go over there, I'm pretty sure I noticed when we walked over first that they put the carbon wheels on and there actually used to be green wheels, but I think they switched them out because it looks so bad. <laughs> the GT40 right here, this spec is just disaster. Asterisk. You got the pink on the front there, the green wheels. 2022 Ford GT Pullman Moody Edition. Now the 2020 version was a lot worse, but this is still quite a unique spec. What do you guys think about this? Here, so that 2022 Ford GT Pullman Moody Edition, the spec was interesting, right? It wasn't that bad, but Ryan put up a photo of the 2020 version. What the hell is even that? It was so bad, it was on worst spec. Connor, thus far, what is your favorite car at the car show? Uh, definitely a Lamborghini. The Lamborghini, Can't the Huracan? Uh, the Ferrari was pretty nice. <laughs> the Ferrari was good. Uh, you guys know I like quirky cars. Mine's gonna be the Toyota Serra with the very, very above average exhaust pipe. This exhaust pipe is above average, okay? That is well above average. There's always that one guy at the car show. That's crazy. Chassis number 25 of the Jaguar XJR15. There was only 28 of these ever produced. Three are in yellow. Look at that. Sticker price was, what was it, one million? One million. Uh, my daily driver is in fact a Subaru. And here at the Subaru exhibit, the best part about the entire Subaru and all the Subaru cars is in fact the exhibit itself. There's not really much else to look at. I know, the tunnel is super cool, look at that. But besides that, not really anything interesting. Okay, so I'm really hoping that this camera picks up the color of this LC500 convertible a little bit better, because it is, whoa. And don't get me wrong, I have nothing against the LC500 convertible. It's a great car, it looks awesome. But this paint job, we got the American G's paint job here. Somebody should advise Hyundai to never, never make a truck. The Santa Cruz over there looking absolutely just terrible. See, we're here to shed light on sections that get no love at car shows, and that's the commercial vehicle section. So here we have trucks that I know absolutely zero things about, but that's okay, because we just highlighted this section. I have now lost hearing. <laughs> What'd you say, Connor? I couldn't hear you. So we're about to go check out the V-Dub ID. What is it? The ID Buzz. The fully electric new version of the Volkswagen bus. 